If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over what you guys should be doing right now in Madden, guys. There's a period of time where we have some things that you really need to be focusing on, but there's also a period of time where we're not going to be getting as much content. You guys know September has always been a month where things dip a little bit for a few reasons, right? The NFL season's starting. We're getting into some of our Team of the Week weekly content. And September's never had a banger big promo, unless we've seen like Mutt 10, or we've seen um, special LTDs, or Team Diamonds. But September historically has been more of a dead month in terms of Madden, because it's pretty simple, right? The game comes out, they drop a bunch of stuff in August. September comes around, the season hasn't really started yet. Then the season's starting, so they're trying to get a bunch of our weekly content back into play. And then October comes, and that's when it's like bang, it's like most feared, Thanksgiving, December, which is Christmas, then we got the New Year's, then we got Team of the Year, and it keeps going from there, right? So September's always more of a dead month, and here's the problem with September, right? And I know a lot of you guys, don't lie, you guys are all victim to this. In September, typically 2K comes out, and a lot of you guys are played in the month, month of Madden. It's so it's fun, you guys are having a great time in Madden, but 2K comes out, and you guys play Park, or you guys play my team, and you're like, I want to try that out. Then, of course, that's like the new kid on the block. You play it for a few weeks, and you're like, oh, this is good. You're, you're hopping into Madden every few days to do your stuff, but not as consistently as you should. And then October comes back around, and you see most feared in play, you come right back to Madden. That's when you go hard on Madden, and you're like, oh my god, that's so much fun. And you're like, oh, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas. And before you know it, you've been playing Madden for months again. But what happened in that time period when you didn't play Madden? I'm going to go over that, guys, because a lot of people fall victim to that month of 2K. Myself, I've done it. I, myself included, I've done it before. And I miss out on a lot of important things that if you don't do now, it's going to hurt you a lot later and you're going to regret. Guys, all it takes is hopping on Madden. Maybe like an hour per week. Two hours per week right now. If anything, you know, all that's all it takes just to get a few things done. That if you don't get done now, you're going to screw yourself later on. Trust me. I've been the guy that didn't do this thing in September and was really regretting it later in the year. And I was like, wow, all it would have taken was a few minutes of my time. But guys, before we get into it, shout out to, I believe, Jeffrey Goldenberg today for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Golenberg, Jeffrey Golenberg being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. If you guys want to be shouted out, you got to be a subbed. Have the noti bell on, like the video, and of course, comment down below, Poodle Squad. And of course, guys, if you guys need to channel sub anyways, if you guys need coins, head on down below. Cheapest coins you guys are going to find, use code Poodle. And yeah, I pretty much covers that. So let's get into this, guys. So the first thing I do want to cover that's so important, guys, that if you guys, again, taking a week off Madden, you guys may not think it's like, oh, it's just a game. Like, I take a week off. First off, let's, let's, get, to, let's get to the key things. Your team's value. People take a week or two off and realize that their players are no longer the best. So let's just say, right, there, this is why it's important to check out your team, at least weekly. Like, I'd hop, I used to hop on when I was taking a break, and I'd go through my team and I'd check it out. Because, again, you may have Brandon Marshall, right? Brandon Marshall was 300 k A week later, uh, two weeks later, Calvin Johnson came out. Brandon Marshall is no longer 300 k because he was replaced by a receiver who's just as tall but better, right? So the key thing to note here. Is that I sold Brandon Marshall at 290, knowing that he was gonna get replaced pretty soon, and I was losing my Xbox. So I was like, let me just let me just sell him because I won't be able to really play next gen for a week or so. So I sold them. Calvin Johns came out, saved myself 100 k So that, that's the point why it's important. Don't just leave a team there. So if you know, like, okay, like I'm playing a lot of 2K, I'm really not playing online, like I'm checking day to day just with my solos. Start selling some players that are high in price that aren't gonna be, you know, like if you, if you have like Darrell Revis's, Marshall, uh, Brandon Marshall's, Ed Rizek, those guys, like it might be time to sell some of those guys. That's one thing. Just make sure you guys are keeping your team updated. You do not want to be the guy that holds on to like limited time Nick Chubb or, you know, Mike Haynes, 92, Jerry Rice at their high price points or LTD Chandler Jones when you know sure as hell you're not playing right now. You never want to hold into a team when you're not playing. It's just it's just a recipe for lost coins. It's just it's a depreciating asset. It's like buying a car and letting it just drive in circles without you in it. Just like losing its value in miles. It's crazy. Next, guys, I'm super important. I cannot stress this one enough. This is the one that I have messed up. I mess up yearly. I always go like I always go like on a on a sabbatical. Like I go on this like week long vacation, two weeks. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll come back to Madden. Or I'm doing my videos, but 2K came out. And I'm like, I'm gonna play a little bit 2K just to enjoy it this one week. And I don't focus on this. And I always miss a deadline. And I'm gonna go over that. And that's the team of the week solos, guys. The team of the week solos. If you remember, if you guys play every week of team of the week at the end of the year you do get a free team of the year player i'm gonna go over why that's a problem for me first off for a youtube video it's great for me to go ahead and show you guys the pack it's fun at the end of the year not to mention you know how annoying it is when team of the year comes out and all these players are super expensive and there's like 60 of them and all i want is a few of them and i want well, i want so many of them right and i have to buy them one by one instead you get a free one as i in the past i pulled tyree kill out of this like it can be an exciting pack if you allow it to be now here's the thing 
you cannot be missing weeks. Now, I'll go over a few scenarios, right? There's now 18 weeks in the NFL season. Suppose this goes 18 weeks, right? They usually bundle the last three weeks together, give or take. So let's just say you need 18 tokens to complete this, right? That means you have to play every single week. If you even miss one, you're out. Now, I'm going to go over a few scenarios that they've done in the past. When Team of the Year comes out, they do a solo challenge. They give out two tokens. So that would mean that if it was 18 weeks, they give you another two. That's 20, which means you theoretically can miss two weeks. Do not take my word for it because there's been years, I believe, where there was one token. There's been years where they didn't give a token. I'm just saying I would not take a player. And they also been years where they didn't require 18. I think they require or 17. They required like 15. They required like only 15 out of 17. All I'm saying is they do not tell you. So do not take that chance. Make sure you're playing your team of the week solos. How do you get your token? On the first one, this is a full game solo. You play the full game solo. All you need is two stars to go ahead and get your team so, uh, your team of the week's uh, token. Two stars. So that pretty much means I'm pretty sure you could just do one star and then get a sack for the bonus. I personally just play on the hardest difficulty. Play, play it safe. Get your five stars. It also goes a long way in the uh, the big set of milestones to get your free team of the week. Um, yeah, team of the week player of the week card. So make sure you're doing it on five. That is it right there, the Team of the Week token, Team of the Year token, and you're going to have to collect them all. Like I said, there's 18 weeks in the NFL season this, uh, this year, so there may be, you may need 18 tokens. Now, how many are you going to have to actually put in? How many makeups would there be? It doesn't matter. And if there is makeups, you guys did 18, don't worry, because of course, you can usually, they give you like a quick sell value, like 10k, 15k, and you can get some free coins off it for being a loyal person who's played them. Now, let me give you guys some scenarios in which people, and like I said, I know these scenarios. Christmas break comes, you get a new game for Christmas. You go on a family vacation, you head on down to Florida, you go to Canada, you go to Europe, right? You do something, and you're like, yeah, I don't really need, you know, like, right before you're leaving, you're like, I'm not going to play. I'll play this when I get back. You come back from vacation, then you're, coming, you're catching back up on school, you're catching back up with your family again, and you just don't hop on for a few days. So you just don't play solos, and I've, I've went through, like, a Christmas, you know, 10 days off of school kind of break, and I've done this stuff and played 2K or played, uh, you know, GTA back in the day, and I come on, I'm like, oh my God, I just let my solos sit there for a week, and they expired. I've missed two weeks, I'm like... Okay, okay, well, that's fine because there's makeups, right? And then I'm like, oh my God, but I also selectively early in the year missed the first two weeks, one, one week, week one and two, because I was like, eh, like there's makeups, uh, it's fine. And then I also accidentally missed two because of life, right? So just Halloween, birthdays, accidents, like, you know, you never know. I'm just telling you guys, if you have time right now after this video and you see this, go play your solos. And this isn't the only one. Make sure you're also playing your legend solos. Now, I'm not entirely sure when or if these are going to go away. But if I'm not mistaken, guys, last year, again, I left my Legend Solos. Oh, they're not going away anywhere. I could be wrong. I'm not remembering entirely. Make sure you're playing your Legend Solos, too. Remember, if you collect all your Legend Solos, then you don't see it here. If you play your Legend Solos, right, you do get the Legends token. If you collect 40 of these, you get a free Boss Legend, which, again, another really cool way to get a really good... Again, right around the same time, too, you're going to get a Team of the Year and a free Legend. It's going to, like, bolster your team. And the 97 overall M MCS player. You're going to get, like, three... 95 plus players back to back to back back to back to back and you don't want to miss that i'm telling you guys there's another thing just and right now again we're like in i call i always call it mutt limbo it's like this period of time where we're getting weekly content not too interactive there's some solos to play get all your solos done right now i mean and that's just that get your team of the week solos done get your campus heroes all my solos are done besides the campaign the campaign i haven't really gotten through all the way because it's just these full game solos kill me uh, i mean it's just like you you play the three and like no joke I finished the first four, maybe like five seconds, and then I get to game 11, I'm like, uh, now time to play the full game, and it's just, it's just horrible, but everything else I have done, I have every other solo in this game completed, I mean, I may not have max stars, because I don't always, go, some of them, like, I, I miss a star or two, like, but I'm, I'm clearly maxed out, as you guys can see, now, Legends, make sure you're playing, you want those tokens, I don't know if they're gonna go away, but if I'm not mistaken, last year, I'm pretty sure, like, I didn't do week one, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure, and like a month in, I was like, oh, it's okay, because they're always going to sit there. I'll just come back and do them when I, when I need it. First off, coming back and doing them when you need them kind of sucked, because last year were full game solos. And also, I'm pretty sure I hopped in and Legends re Release 1 was gone, and that's like eight tokens, so you really don't want to be missed. At least do week one. Get your eight tokens, because that makes up for like a whole month worth of Legends. So make sure you're doing that. That sets you like a pretty decent amount ahead. So yeah, so pretty much wrap it up. Make sure you're skimming your team. Make sure you're getting rid of high value players if you don't plan to play. If you're sending your Xbox out to get fixed or anything, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're getting your Legend and Team of the Week tokens. These are two important key details you guys do not want to be missing right now. And make sure you're just playing your solos and getting your levels up. I'm trying to I'm trying to grind levels, but I refuse to sit there and kick field goals. It's just me. I can't do it. I I will I play my solos. I grind the game. But So pretty much you guys are seeing, my, my levels aren't indicative of like every other YouTuber's levels at the end of the day. My levels are like, how high of a level can you be just playing the game for the most part? 
on level 37 that's straight off cam chancellor grinding that's straight off playing um all the solos in the game head to head i mean i really have not sat there just level grinding i've i've sat there throwing touchdowns to jamar chase bombs but that doesn't level you up that fast i'm throwing adr touchdown celebrating i was doing that for cam chancellor but i haven't really level up grinded i mean i'd say realistically if you took away my cam chancellor grinding i'm probably like level 30 31 which again shows you what you really can be so don't feel bad if you're like oh my god i'm only level 20 that's like realistically what it is if you're just playing the game naturally i'm getting objectives done but guys the video's getting pretty long that's about it for the video Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, of course. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.